this video, I want to explain when to pronounce T as a flap in American English. The T is one of the sounds I get the most questions on as an English teacher. That's because, of all consonants, this one is one of the most variable. It will have a different pronunciation based on its location within a word or phrase and the sounds surrounding it. A couple of reminders before we get started. Please stick around until the end of the video. There's a little activity at the very end that will really make you think. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss any of my new videos. I post a new free lesson every Friday. So when you learn to read, you were likely taught that the letter T makes a T sound, as in the words table or teacher. Well, this is only partly true. Sometimes it makes that sound, like when the T is found at the beginning of a word. When you say it at the beginning of a word, your tongue touches the alveolar ridge, right here. The alveolar ridge is the bony, hard area just behind your upper front teeth. And then there is a very noticeable stop and then a burst of air as you say words like today or team. Now the flap T, which you're likely to find in the middle of English words, is a little bit different. There is just a brief stop and no burst of air. In fact, it sounds more like a D in English, or perhaps an R in your native language. Not all languages, but some consider this an R sound. Your native language may or may not. Listen for a moment and think about it as I give you some sample words and expressions that have a flap T. Better photo, city, pot of tea. Now to pronounce the flap T, your tongue quickly taps the alveolar ridge. Again, the alveolar ridge is the bony area just behind your upper front teeth. It's right here. Notice it in the following words and phrases. Water, meeting, whatever, put away, a lot of, visitor, what a beautiful day. Let me give you one simple rule for knowing when to use the flap T. Use a flap T when the T occurs between vowel sounds. Vowels are sounds spelled with the letters A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. For example, later and pretty. Each of these words has a T sound that's between two vowel sounds. In later, the T is between the A and the ER. And in pretty, the T sound is between I and E. Now remember again that a written letter is not the same as a sound. The words write and note both end in a written E, but that E is silent, so we cannot say that the T is between vowel sounds in those two words. Now there is an exception to the between vowels rule. If the vowel after the T is stressed, that means that with our voice, we make that vowel loud, long, and higher in pitch. In this case, the T is not a flap. Examples include attend, protect, hotel, and scientific. You'll notice each of these words had a hard T in it rather than a flap. And that's because the vowel sound after that T was a stressed vowel. 
Now let me leave you with something to think about. Each of the following words has more than one T sound. Attitude, opportunity, and flight attendant. Determine which T's are regular T's and which T's are flaps in these words. Check your answers in the comments section below and leave me a comment letting me know how you did on this little quiz. Thanks for watching.